So last week you did end up seeing my full football shirt collection. Again, this is a very similar video. I'm going to be doing a football shirt bucket list. This was my own idea. Definitely, definitely, definitely did not steal this idea from, from another footballing YouTuber who goes on away days and calls them on the road. Never would steal content like that. But yeah, Smith's link is in the description, so if you want to go watch that, then feel free. Yeah, I thought it'd be a really good, good idea from a really good follow-up as well from doing the football shirt collection, you could say. And I thought this would be another way to show you some kits that I want in the future. Again, some of them are a bit more realistic than the others. And to be fair, there's some that I want. Obviously, there's the ones like the Dutch 88 one, which I just haven't put on here because it's, you know, I'm going to have to put a full mortgage down to get that. So... These are more realistic and you could say more more unique ones that you don't really see. Uh, I think I've got around 10, 11 to show you. Just some ones that are very interesting and some that I really want and are kind of, are kind of unique to me as well. So, you know, it'll be a, a completely different video. So we're just going to get straight into it. Okay, so we've got three Wolves shirts. We're going to get the ones out of the way straight away because not everyone is a Wolves fan. And we'll just skim through these quite quickly. So first off, we got is the Wolves 2002 to 2003 away kit. Again, this was the year I was born, 2002, so it would be very nice to get this kit. And also, it's just, I've always really liked this kit. And I think one of my earliest pictures I've seen me when I was pretty much a newborn is in this shirt. And it's just it's just iconic, really. First up, the, the Doritos, just, it's so iconic. Just, I love an away kit that's just white. It's just, it's so nice. The collar unbelievable admiral just iconic as well uh it's just a really nice kit the three wolf shirts is probably the least expensive as well so it's the most likely one i'm gonna get next one pretty much 10 years back from that kit it's the wolves 1990 to 1992 away kit and we don't you never really see kind of like a baby blue slash light blue away kit really and i just it's just really nice again what this is at least 10 12 years before i was born so don't really know too much about it but it's just it's just a really nice color again when you think of wolves you think of goodyear sponsor and it's got it on there the collar's nice i love a collar on a kit it's just it just makes it just that little bit more smarter and sophisticated and this one it's just it's just nice it's just really nice again no memories of this one or the next one we're going to get to which is the wolves 94 to 96 away kit and this one i think this one's quite iconic as well uh, again, the the old uh, what do you call it? Like the uh, there's a name for it, but I can't think of the name for it. But it's not the generic wolves badge. Uh, I, I can't think of the name for it. It's um, it's not the city badge. Is, it, is that the right word to say? I don't know. I'm really butchering this, but you know what I mean. Uh, again, the Goodyear sponsor, the collar, the gold on the sleeves, uh, just a white kit as well. I just love a white kit, so it's just very nice. And yeah, this is another one which I think this is probably the most expensive. I think this is like around 100 and I don't know how much. I've saw selling for like 170, I think, of this. So this one's probably a bit higher on the uh, on the get list, but definitely one that I would love to get. All right, next, moving to Scotland, we have the Rangers 96 to 97 home kit. There's a lot of Adidas kits from around this time from Rangers that are just really nice. Uh, like there's that, that iconic one where that then I think at Liverpool had it as well which is the massive three like stripes down the arm and on the shoulder kind of thing Rangers have one similar to that which is very nice but this one again McEwen's lager again very iconic with with the Rangers just really nice the collar really like it just a blue is nice and it's just one that I really I really like and I would not complain if I was given that uh, again these are like hundreds 200 this show yeah, a bit higher in the bucket list, but definitely one that's, that I'm going to get. Moving to England, we have the England 1990 home kit. I could have either put the home or the away kit. They're both really nice, and I wouldn't really be bothered with either, to be honest. Of course, I know they're selling the replica, replica kits of this, and I could easily go and get one for like 30 quid or whatever. But I think on my bucket list is just just get like one of the generic, like the one of the original Umbro ones, that's 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 on the bucket list. But either one of the home or the away kit I would happily take because arguably they're probably two of the best England kits ever, you could say. Moving on to Italy and probably next two actually, I'll tell you now, they're both Fiorentina and you can probably guess what they're going to be because I think they're very generic, you could say, and a lot of people want them and you know they're very unique. 
Uh, first one is the 98 to 99 home kit, which is Fila and Nintendo. Obviously, it's just yeah, it's just it's just nice. It's just really nice. I think any to be fair, any Fiorentina kit from the 90s, I would happily take. Uh, I just picked this one because Nintendo again. Nintendo was a big part of my childhood, and Fila is just really nice, and it's just it's just a lovely kit really, and a purple kit as well. You, a Fiorentina are probably the only purple team. They're probably not. There's probably another big one that I'm forgetting. But it's just it's just nice. And then moving on to the next one is the 92 to 93 one, which is the seven up one. The Lotto sponsor again, the collar on it as well. Just I, I think you can tell from what probably the seven I've done so far. I think six of them have had a collar. So I think you can tell that I do enjoy a collar. But to be fair, it's just the 90s. I think it's just the 90s thing, which I'm not complaining about. I think the away kit of this as well is similar to this, but it's like a white bottom and then the purple top. I think which is again very nice and I'd very much take it. Now moving on to a bit more of a recent kit, we have the Dortmund no, no Neon, I think it's called, the 2021 Puma kit. It's a replica kit of one of their 90s kits, so it's sort of a new kit but sort of just a replica of a 90s kit, but it's still new and yeah when this first it came out, maybe the start of the year it came out, I think they wore it for one game, Dortmund. Yeah it's just, it's just lovely, it's just really nice, you can't, the old Puma logo is just really nice to Dortmunds yeah it just it just works it, it's so nice and I think they look so expensive as well so it's like it's gonna be hard to get one and I think a lot of a lot of people are actually faking it watch the video that Ellie's done away days if you don't know him he does football kit collections and I think he's done a video trying to find this kit and it's very difficult so again this one's gonna, gonna be very high on the list and I wouldn't be surprised within a few years or 10 years or whatever then that this will probably be the same price as like a Dutch 88 kit. Wouldn't be surprised at all really. But a bit of a different one and a bit of a a bit of a left field one. I've gone for a Malaga 2012 to 2013 home kit. Even better if I could get some sort of Champions League badge on the side of it. I've said before I don't I don't have a second team. That's never like I've never thought that's a good idea. But another team that I have close to my heart is Malaga. I think mainly because I've been on holiday there a lot and it's just a, such a nice place. And also one of the first memories I have of Champions League and one of the first memories I had of Malaga was this 12-13 season. If you didn't know, they got to the Champions League quarter-final. I think they lost out to Dortmund who got to the final that year. And just the team that they had at that point, like. If you, if you don't know, there's, there's so many videos about them on YouTube and stuff, go and check it out. But yeah, they had an unreal team and for, for a team like Malaga to get to the Champions, Champions League court final was just so unheard of. Yeah, I, kinda, I just have a real soft spot for Malaga um, and I try and keep up with the games every now and then and obviously they're in the second division right now. If possible, getting a Champions League badge on there or some sort of Champions League thing on there would, would be unreal. But one of these kits, again... It's just, it's just a nice kit as well, it's very clean and I'd very much take this. Right, moving on now to the Club America 2020-2021 third kit. Ever since it came out, it's just been so iconic and I've seen it everywhere. They've done hoodies in similar versions to this, which are actually very nice as well. Uh, but again, this is just, I don't know, it's just, it's just so like South American. And I know, I know Mexico isn't South American, it's like Central American, but it's just so South American and American vibe. And it's just really nice. It, again, these will be going for like hundreds within a few years or something because it's just going to be a, a, an absolute classic. And the third and final one, and probably the most boring one, it is the Nigeria 2021 home kit. And there's so many times that I, I easily could have got this kit. Like, there's so many times where I thought, should I buy it? Like, I could buy it right now, genuine for like 60 quid, and I could buy it, but I just haven't. But I definitely do want to buy one in the future. Again, it's a bit out there, a bit different. Uh, the past two Nigeria kits have been really nice. And again, it's a really nice one, really enjoy this one and definitely one that I do want to get. So yeah, again, there's been so many, there's so many to choose from and like if if I chose, if I'd done a video about every single one that I wanted, we would have been here all day. So I've just picked out, like I said, 10 or 11, you know, main ones that I do really want, but there's again, there's still so many more. That's pretty much the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Uh, again, let me know in the comments what football kits you want to get hands on what's on your bucket list really and let me know in the comments down below uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you are new it really means a lot to me make sure you check out my instagram and twitter as well they're, they're down below and this is the end of kind of like the pre-recorded videos you could say 
I'm still on holiday right now, but by next week I will be back and I will be posting videos. Uh, obviously, the while I'm while I'm recording this now, England they're actually about to play Germany right now, which is actually very exciting. Um, but yeah, once I come back, it'll be all Wolves content, Wolves 2021, 2022 content. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry, girl, you just don't make me feel right